In this tutorial, I will show you four ways of creating fillet between surfaces. So uh, let's start. First, I need to prepare uh, objects to make a fillet. So let it be two surfaces. Uh, in this case, I'll just make a box and uh, shade it. And now I will just uh, explode my box and erase, delete the surfaces I don't need. This is going to be sampling, so uh, that's the way I want to show you. Uh, now I've got two surfaces and I need it uh, copied four times so I can use it when I have a gumbo. I can use it Alt pressed and then just drag and drop. This is it. So. I've got it. All right. So, in the first case, I will show just plain a uh, comment which is called fillet variable fillet. Uh, but this comment works only with the uh, solids, so it cannot be free to sur to free surfaces. I have to join them. So now this edge is like a solid edge. The next comment will be comment between two surfaces, so uh, this situation is alright. And the third comment will be to create kind of blend between two surfaces. To, have to do a blend I have to have a gap between those uh, two surfaces. And in the third situation I'm going to make a profile of my fillet. I also have to have a gap. So I will make them later to show you how to do it. Okay, let's start. The first it's the easiest one, so you need to just go to variable reduce fillet and uh, just need to uh, say how big is your fillet must be. I wrote, I type a 4 Uh, how big your fillet, fillet must be, so I will type 4 four, and enter. Okay, it's done. Mm, but this command is a little bit uh, extended because I can make a variable radius fillet. It means that I can make different size here and different size there or whatever different sizes whatever I want to put them so look okay this is the situation I want to change that size so I just I point my click my dot and then change it manually or type here on, on, on the top one okay this is the first situation and I want to do the same situation but I want to make another one here so look okay, so it's four now I will change that one and I will add handle look here let it be here and confirm by pressing the right button mouse or enter on the keyboard and then the same situation I want to make it bigger like seven all right, you see this is this is quite quite nice uh, co comment. Quite nice modificator works only with solids. Uh, all right, and another one uh, which works only with surfaces. It's just fillet surface. It's here. Uh, it's here. I need to select surface, and I can uh, first select the radius. Right, the radius. For example, this is two. Then I select the first surface and the second, and the fillet is generate generated automatically. Uh, this command has no extension, uh, no extended uh, uh, modificators, just uh, plain fillet. Uh, the next situation, uh, I need to have a gap, so I can easily create the gap by, for example, making plain surface fillet and then delete the fillet. Okay. 
Let, let's create a little bit bigger. So let it be five. Okay, mm -hmm. the same here. And we just I just deleted the, those two. So now I'll create a blend surface, and we'll explain a little bit what how it works. So uh, the blend it will be automatically created between this edge and this edge. And now I press enter, and the additional pop up window appear, asking me what to do. So this is kind of advanced uh, uh, panel tool, where you can uh, choose the curvature of uh, fillet. So it means that this field, uh, this surface, and this surface has a kind of mathematical uh, continuity or mathematical um, data. And the fillet will use this data to create uh, the blend. So tangency is the most common and easiest way. Curvature is a little bit advanced, and G3, G4 is a very advanced uh, curvature system which is used in uh, automotive design. So I prefer for now to stay with tangency. I will explain uh, this in uh, advanced tutorials. All right. So. Let's do tangency, and now you've got this kind of uh, um, possibility to play with the shape of your fillet, and you can extend this uh, points of curvature. So, but at the end you've got something like that. This is very useful and quite nice uh, tool to do it. So, you can play with it as much as you like. Uh, and the last comment is uh, to create your uh, shape of your fillet by your by your idea so let's for example do the curve here and i have to change the view let's do it like that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and finish here we've got something like this and we can easily make similar or similar or not similar how they like between mm, mm, like this uh, you have to uh, you have to know that there is no continuity between those two shapes so this is going to be not very uh, smooth and nice but we'll work it work it out later so now I've got a shape, I've got the two, I can say, rails. So basically I can now go and find a command which is sweep two rails and sweep the edge across two rails. This is rail, first rail, second rail, first cross section, second cross section, and I can apply the changes. And as you can see, the shape has uh, quite lots of isoparms because it has to be uh, perfectly fitted to the shape I declare, which is carve. So I can rebuild it by uh, as much control points as I like and uh, preview, or I can refit with the specific uh, precision and it will change. looks like this but you have to as I said you have to remember there is no continuity between those two surfaces I can make them now by doing matching which is uh, which is this one I can match surface mm -hmm. it's pretty the same as it was uh, when I was creating uh, when I was creating the blend but uh, a little bit different, so let's okay. This surface and that edge, and you can see the same situation. Tangency, you can preserve other end as a tangency, but this is not necessary right now. Uh, this uh, gonna be effect of my of my matching look, mm -hmm. and I have to do the same here. As you can see curvature 
Man. And this is what I need. And everything now is smooth and nice and smooth. So I have to say at the end <coughs> that I actually my professional design work uh, using uh, most this kind of concept of creating and also that kind of concept, that kind of way of creating the fillet. Uh, well, it's hard to say that this is fillet. This is totally new shape of uh, surface, not fillet. This is m more fillet than that one. But if you want to play with uh, creating new f surface between two surfaces, so that's the four ways of doing. Of course, you can find uh, uh, much more, but uh, they are most common. Okay, thank you for listening. Uh, good luck.